Uh, so Puti Matupa is the third born of Mr. and Mrs. Matupa. Uh, I am 100% Northern Sotho, but from my mom's side, it's from a royal family in Kalsbrecht, and from my dad's side, it's from a family of priests and teachers. And yeah, I uh, studied chemistry, uh, so I'm a scientist, and I've always had the love for water. And uh, I believe I have a deep connection with water, and uh, I wanted to have a business like where I could reach out health and healing and using water. So I started Ruhama uh, Water and Laboratory Services in 2016 in November after I got retrenched from a business uh, partnership. And I decided, you know what, maybe let me just follow my dream of uh, getting into the water industry. However, uh, I worked for the mines for over 13 years and uh, as a chemist and uh, I was uh, more focused on quality management systems then that's where the consulting business uh, came from so I was doing uh, quality management system uh, development uh, implementation maintenance with the laboratories for uh, ISO IEC 17025 and for reference material producers and proficiency testing producers, which is ISO IEC 17043 and 17034. So Ruhama offers uh, bottled purified water as well as dispensers and purification systems for people who want to have home domestic purification system but we also do it for businesses and also opportunistically because now we have purified water i then jumped onto the uh, juice industry so we also do uh, fruit juices using the purified water and uh, well of course the management quality system that is for the mines yeah. so that's what Ruhama does I believe that with the belief that I have you know a connection with water I know that water is life water is power water is energy however you can actually tell water what to do so I can tell water that with this bottle of water I need you to bring healing and health to whoever gets hold of Ruhama water and juice so in my opinion water is what gives us life and nobody can live without water you can actually survive without food, but you cannot survive without water. And it's all for the living species in the whole universe. That has been really a challenge, but can I just say, I think God has been gracious to me. And at the time when COVID was just, you know, starting, and that's when AIF gave me the mentorship program. So then on a weekly basis, I would meet with Peter and, you know, just telling him my frustration because I was like completely shut down. I didn't have a big base of customers. So when, when, when it started, the lockdown started, I couldn't come to the office, I couldn't sell water because they were even saying that, you know, COVID doesn't need cold uh, beverages, people must drink hot water and people were not buying water. And we were getting into also the winter season where selling water is not so hard. So communicating with Peter and him always, you know, trying to keep me motivated. We then had to strategize and say, with the water not working, what else can you do, Putin? And then I got now into selling uh, hygiene products, opportunistically as well. And I believe with my experience in the laboratory, understanding the different masks that can be used, you know, and the sanitizers, you know, understanding what elements or what material goes into producing or manufacturing sanitizers actually helped me. So I then started selling masks, sanitizers, gloves, and that kept me going, but it was not so much. 
what actually made the tipping point was when we said with us having the opportunity to work from home can i be able to do consulting from home and it was yes and then peter said to me then what do you need i said i need a strong connection with wi-fi and i need the one that cannot stop and aif said to me putty we're gonna pay for that for you and that's how i continued to work so i was able to communicate with sanas because I'm contracted to them as a technical assessor and said to them, I'm available and I've got a network at home and I can work from home. And then I started getting jobs and some of my uh, customers, I helped them over Zoom and I went uh, as far as doing some training for technical signatories as well as reviewing their documents and then we could have you know, sessions where we go over what I've done and explaining what they need to change in their quality management system. So that's what helped me. Absolutely. Actually, I realized I love it more than having to drive, you know, being on the road, because, you know, driving to remote places like the mines is not the nicest of them all. So now I don't have to wake up like at 4 a.m. just to be in Rustenburg. You know, I can wake up at 7 o'clock, get ready, and voila, at 8 o'clock I'm connected and I'm talking to the people that I need to talk to. Well, the future, I believe that there is more for me to give into life. And I want to explore, you know, getting into neighboring countries where I can take my services and getting into making sure that, you know, as much as I go to these uh, mines to offer them consulting businesses, I was never in the mindset of now saying to them, by the way, I also do water and juice. And these are the people that, you know, I already have a base of clients, but I think you know, with the mentorship program with Peter, as well as talking to Lauren, I realized that I was limiting myself because then when I went to the mines for consulting, I left it at there. But nothing stops me from saying, you know what, I see you guys are using dispensers. Could you consider, you know, my services for the water, for the purified water? And I think that I will be able to get into even bigger frontiers if I were to look at neighboring countries like Zimbabwe, like uh, Malawi, like, you know, most neighboring African countries. Beautiful. It has been the most amazing uh, experience in terms of mentorship. Uh, I think as much as Peter is a very nice person, he keeps it real and he just pushes you, you know. And the one thing that he actually helped me to do was that uh, believe in yourself and rest when you must. And he shared with me a lot of videos that, you know, when I, you go back to them and you realign, you reset, you know. Even when I was getting into a depression mode, you know, I, I used to say to him, there's no money coming in and I'm really worried about my living expenses and the business, I don't know what I'm going to do. And he said to me, as a small business, you cannot afford to be lenient. Go to everybody that owes you and tell them you want your money like in yesterday. That's what helped me. So I was able to at least continue and I haven't really felt that much pressure because I mean, I said to him, he says, what invoices do you have understand? And he said to me, I must report to him how far. And he said, don't be a nice person. You don't have to be nice, it's your money, you work for it. And that helped me. So I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much, Mape, for affording me the opportunity to get mentoring and to also have an opportunity to see a positive outlook into the future, even though things were very bad, especially with COVID. I was at a verge where I was like losing hope and my connection with uh, Peter actually made my life different and it actually made me realize that I could actually push myself uh, even further 
instead of saying okay everything is it's everyone is struggling so what you know so i really appreciate your assistance and i'm really grateful i hope that there will be other uh, small businesses uh, people like me that can get that opportunity and you can ask the way you've assisted me i'm really grateful thank you and keep up the good work